All right, so we're back again. Say hi. Hi, Dad. He's not looking. Okay. Um, so when we did the car last time, it was not perfect. It was the first time we've ever done anything like this. So it did not work out totally the way we planned. Uh, so it's a little, it's a little bit of a mess. Got a little rusty. Some water got underneath um, some of the pages and the ink ran and things like that. Uh, so we're going to fix it up. And we have some, some friends joining us. We've got the turkeys. What are they? Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Easter. Year's? And Easter? Yeah. So, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of uh, people in the peanut gallery today. All right, but we're going to try again. We're going to do a different technique. We're going to use Mod Podge and a marine grade epoxy this time around. So, wish us luck. There's a little more coming off. So we have sanded everything down so that we can leave some of this stuff on. And um, then we're going to collage more on top of that. It'll make, hopefully make for some nice textures. And we are able to keep some of the original things that I was so excited about having on here. It'll be, right now it looks like a scene out of Fahrenheit 451. So it's 4.30 in the morning, as you can tell by the state of my lipstick. Um, yeah, you know how you get started on a project and then you can't stop and go to bed because you've had coffee? Or as, you know, my favorite speed adult character would say, there are 24 usable hours in every day. Anyways, I am at a definite stopping point. I have glued more pages on. Um, to many sides, so over on this side, I don't even know if you'll be able to see in the dark, yes, yeah, so it goes all the way over the doors and over to the back panel of the car, um, it's on both sides, I'll show you better in the light in the morning, and there is also some silver detailing that hopefully will look okay when the sun rises and not crappy, we'll see, I'm gonna go to bed. All right, so I got a little bit of sleep last night and the sun is starting to set so it's a little cooler so we can start adding the epoxy. We've done a little bit of a test run over here on this side. You probably won't be able to see it. It's just kind of shinier than everything else. And it's going on pretty well. So we're going to keep doing that and we'll see how it goes. So that was a pretty fast application. We got the first coat of the epoxy on. It's very shiny. You can't really tell in this video. And I also decided we're just gonna have to do the whole car eventually. Just gotta be the whole car. Not like, today. Not today, but like look how boring those doors look. Next trip. Look how boring that front fender looks. No sorry. Just gonna have to get uh, some books with big pages. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be fine. So got a little bit of a setback. We didn't cover the car last night. And the dew got it a little wet, so it looks a little milky. You can definitely see the parts that I missed when we were putting the epoxy on. So, I'm not going to be driving it today. And hopefully, it'll dry in the heat today, or today, because it's going to be really hot. So, I think we're done with this stage of the Bibliotech car. Um, the first coat of epoxy we put on, we didn't use the right ratio, which is three to one. Three epoxy to one, or three resin to one hardener, if you're wondering. Uh, and it took a long time to cure and to dry. So we did it again last night with the proper ratio for our second coat, and it dried almost immediately, and it's beautiful. Uh, we might go back in and fix, like, do extra on the edges so water doesn't get in on the sides. But, yeah, it looks great. The rest of my car is dirty, but, you know. And it's really exciting. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The first layer of 
um, epoxy when it hit some of the older pages from the first round. It made it really, really dark, so you can't make out a lot of the words. But if you look really closely, you can still see some. So yeah, so we added some other pages on top of that. So now we have some Francis, some more Jane Austen, and other things like that. But I'm psyched. And now that I kind of know how to do it, I can also work on it at my house. Yeah. That's awesome.